The judge, before coming into conclusion, analyzed the issues on five levels. The first was whether or not the words used by the plaintiff in the matter were defamatory in nature. On this tangent, the judge noted that the words spoken by Kennedy Japan were defamatory in nature. The case against Kennedy Japan was that he had accused Anas Arimiao Anas of a number of things, including being a blackmailer, a thief, a fraudster, an extortionist, and corrupt. The judge then proceeded to consider whether the words actually defamed Anas Arimiao Anas. Justice Eric Barr concluded in the negative, indicating that the words did not defame the investigative journalist. The judge, in reaching this conclusion, analyzed video evidence available to him. The video in question was captured in Kennedy Japan's Who Watches the Watchman documentary. This documentary was screened in what looked as a reaction to Anas Armia Anas number 12 documentary, which captured some football actors, including former GFA chairman Kwesi Nyantechi, taking bribes. In the Who Watches the Watchman documentary, Anas is alleged to have investigated a group for a $1.9 million gold scam. He is alleged to have received bribe from them to stop airing the documentary. One of the persons caught by Anas is seen in the video claiming he paid some amount of money to Anas to prevent the screening of the documentary. In the same video, Anas is alleged to have also confessed having bribed the Director General of the Criminal Investigation Department of the Ghana Police Service. Justice Eric Barr noted that Anas's lawyer during trial at some point accepted that Anas was the one being referred to in the documentary and in other instances denied that it was Anas. He however concluded that since Kennedy Japan did not deny that he was referring to Anas Army or Anas, then the comments can be attributed to the investigative journalist. To this end, the judge stated that the confessions in the video leaves the burden on Kennedy Japan. Based on this, the judge concluded that Anas is a blackmailer, an extortionist, corrupt, and a criminal. Justice Egba described Anas's work as investigative terrorism and not investigative journalism. According to the judge, even though the words spoken of the plaintiff are factual and capable of defamation, Anas Armia Anas could not prove same. Hence, the plaintiff case is meritless and dismissed. The judge also considered video evidence where Anas, a sheikh, and an Arabian, and one Amache conversed about efforts to implicate the Ivorian Prime Minister and the President of Ghana. The judge expressed disdain about the plot contained in this video. The judge queried why Anas Army or Anas would seek to entrap the highest men of these countries with no cause. In his own words, Justice Eric Barnes stated that how Anas and his team select their subject matters is shrouded in secrecy. Even though the judge did not rule out the essence of investigating leaders of nations, he noted that preempting unjustified attacks on their credibility and provoked by any credible suspicion of a specific act of corruption engaged in or about to be engaged in by them, such as drawing them into a trap so as to be caught in a contrived corruption, as alleged by Kennedy Japan, was unwarranted. The judge further questioned who the financiers of Anas were and if they were outsiders, would they be comfortable if their leaders are put in a similar situation? To the judge, this attempt by Anas and his group has nothing to do with journalism, but rather a scheme for grabbing power by the back door and satisfying Anas's insatiable chase for power, publicity, fame, awards, and rewards. The judge, having taken this position on the evidence available, concluded that Kennedy Japan was therefore justified to have made the comments about Anas. In all, the judge concluded that Anas could not prove the defamation case against Kennedy Japan. The judge awarded a cost of 50,000 Ghana cities against Anas to be paid to the MP. Kennedy Japan has been speaking to the press after the judgment. The victory is for the victims of Anas. The people, the good people of this country that Anas has destroyed. All those people who were sacked from their jobs, the people who have died through Anas illegal investigation should be compensated. Compensation is not enough. He has to apologize to his victims. And today, I say to Ghanaians that we have to be bold to speak the truth in this country.
they have gone through a nurse's humiliation in this country. Nobody, no citizen of this country should go through like that. I tell you today, the 50,000, I don't need it. I give it to him, but he should live with his conscience. And with this judgment, God is also going to give his judgment. Tiger IPI, under whose supervision Anas carries out his activities, has reacted to the judgment. According to a statement released by the company, the decision of the court is an unfortunate travesty of justice and very inimical to the administration of justice and fairness. If for nothing at all, Mr. Japan made an allegation of murder against Mr. Anas. There's absolutely nothing contained in the said documentary which alludes to the commission of murder or an allegation of the commission of murder by Mr. Anas. Thus, the documentary cannot provide any justification for an allegation of murder in the wildest imagination. Yet, the judge conveniently ignored this obvious fact and the fact that Mr. Anas is not a suspect for murder and is not under investigation for murder.